I'm here with Mark Nelson of Rio Grande, and you are going to show us how to make a really cool ring. Really cool ring and a really simple ring to make. Okay. It's um, it's really easy to size, and, mm -hmm. and there's no problems there. Look how beautiful it is. I love it. Okay. How so do we get started with basically it? Basically, you get started. You need about six inches of um, 16 gauge silver wire. Okay. You could also use copper or gold filled. Um, mm -hmm. but silver works really nicely. Yeah. You also need about six inches of copper wire, uh, 16 gauge. And why do you need that? This is our template. Oh. This is how we make uh, sure it's the right size. Mm -hmm. So basically, you just pick a size on a ring mandrel, mm -hmm. and you're going to bend the wire around that size. Mm -hmm. And just bend it completely around. Preferably size 7, since it's my size. Seven's very good. <laughs> and now we have a size 7 ring. <laughs> and we're just going to take some uh, nippers and cut it right in half. Okay. Like that. So now we have our template. Oh, perfect. All we need to do is just kind of straighten this out a little bit. You can use pliers or you can use a hammer. It's not really, it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. I'm going to straighten that out real quick. Now what you want to do is you want to put this about in the middle. Okay. Okay, because that's going to be the ring part. And it's not real critical, but you can just kind of eyeball it there. Mm-hmm. And you do want to mark it, because these are the ends that have to meet to make it a size 7. Mm-hmm. You just mark it with just a regular pen? Sharpies work great. Okay. Uh, a permanent ink marker. Okay. Now what you need to do is you're going to make the design. And this design is very forgiving. You can do uh, anything you like. You can do squiggles mm -hmm. or you can do uh, more angular pieces, mm -hmm. angular designs. And for this one, we'll just do some angles here. So what are you doing? Just holding it with the pliers and just kind of moving just, it yeah. around? Just hold it with pliers. And what are you working on top of? This is a steel block. Okay. And these pliers have a nylon jaws. They're lined with nylon. So that it doesn't affect the silver? Right. Okay. Wow. Is it super strong to, to do it, or is it pretty easy? It's very easy. It? Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to necessarily have to work on that. You can work freehand, too. Oh, okay. Whatever fits your is better for you. Yeah. You can even use around those pliers and make um, the curves. Now what you do want to do, is the ends are a little sharp, so take a, uh, a file of some type and just lightly go over the ends, mm -hmm. and that way they won't poke you as you're working. So okay. Just lightly knock them down. Yeah. And you want to start about 10 millimeters or so, or the width of your pliers from that mark that we made. Mm -hmm. And you want to stay in the same plane. So if you go sideways this way. Mm-hmm. Now. Is silver going to be one of the, the better metals to work with because it's softer as opposed to some of the other ones? Uh, not so much as softness as that. Um, if it's the design? If it's the design, it's easy to maintain. Mm -hmm. uh, you will, it is silver, so it will tarnish. Right. And you'll have to maintain it. Mm -hmm. um, a simple polishing cloth is a, an easy way to do that. Right. Uh, some people have allergic reac reactions to copper. Mm -hmm. um, or not mm -hmm. so much allergic as they do their skin just as reacts. Right, discolors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get the discoloration. So let's do that, and then we'll do another curly on the mm -hmm. end there. Now here's the fun part. So we have a design. Uh huh. And what you want to do is you want to kind of um, put some texture into it, and you can use one of these hammers. This is called a chasing hammer. Mm -hmm. It has a flat side and a ball peen side. Mm -hmm. What I like to do is I like to flatten, and you hit fairly firmly. Flatten it out. Now, is that hardening it also? This is also hardening okay. it. Okay. That is true. Mm -hmm. And you can use a ball peen side to give it some, uh, widen out some areas. Right. Because part of design is you want thick and thin areas. It helps um, make the piece more interesting. Right. And by using this side, it also makes yeah. little facets. You see the little facets? It does. And, and you wouldn't think so because that was the curved side, sort of. You right. Know, you think it's smooth, but it's making really nice texture to that. It's called a hammer finish. Yeah, or martellato. Mm-hmm. Yeah, same thing. That's beautiful. And the great thing is you can just kind of go at your own pace and design exactly, put more texture, put less mm -hmm. texture. Exactly. And if you don't like this, you can always go back with a file and, and file it off. Really? Mm -hmm.
And you do this to both sides. Okay. So now we have the, um, a pattern there. Mm -hmm. And to make, so we have a size 7, right? So we go on the size 7 on the mandrel. Mm -hmm. Like that. And you can see that our marks are mm -hmm. almost on top of each other. Now what you want to do is make another bend right there where they meet. Mm -hmm. So it'll go up the finger. And the one thing about this ring that's really neat is it's, it's adjustable. Okay. It, you can go up in size. The days size. that the finger is a little exactly. chubbier, the days it's a little you know. taller. Or your friend likes it and they're a little bigger or larger. Yeah, or you want to wear it as a thumb ring one day. Sure. You want to wear it as you know, All you need to do finger. is bring it in to size it down and bring it out to size it up. Oh, okay. So that's, that's what makes it a lot easier. And what you can also do is, this is a very long ring. Mm -hmm. um, you can go ahead and put it back on the mandrel and give it some yeah, um, go ahead and do that. taps with a hammer. And you can look at it and go, okay, well, that's pretty long. Mm -hmm. I want to change the design a little bit. And you can go ahead and change it. Yeah, let's just, just do a different one now. Change it up a little bit. Okay, make these tighter. Mm -hmm. Now, what, do you, what would you think of even maybe if you wanted to add beads to it or something oh, like that? Oh, yeah? definitely. Definitely, you could certainly do that. You'd probably want to keep the wire round. Okay. Um, and make sure that your bead holes are big enough to, to yeah, go to on there. Yeah, to fit all the way through. But you could certainly do that. And that would really add a, a lot of neat color to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You could also go even further and even make it into an initial or oh, yeah. something specific. Yes. Or something. See, I'm coming up with all these great <laughs> additions to it. And we can make this as crazy as we, as we like. It's totally open. I love that. Totally open. Now, does it have to be polished or anything like that when it's done? Um, it does look a little better if it's polished. And an easy way to do that is with a, a polishing cloth. Okay. After I'll make you shape it first and then we can show it the okay. polishing. So you're just shaping both sides and I actually kind of like it with one side that's kind of hammered down and then the other side round? Yeah. <laughs> well let's say you didn't like it. Uh, you can always go back and put it on the mandrel yeah. and, and hammer it out flat. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. And you can make it as crazy as you like. Mm -hmm. And then you just polish it before you... Uh... So if you want to put it on the mandrel, you can mm -hmm. keep hammering. Yeah, keep if you hammering. Want to. Make as many shapes or anything as you want to. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. So is this this the typical polishing cloth that you would just use to... Sure. Mm -hmm. And um, you'll notice that it's kind of dull right now. Uh -huh. Just simply rubbing it is going to bring out some... Wow. Yeah. That was instantaneously. Yes. It's very easy. And you can see how the, the tarnish comes off on the, mm -hmm. on the rack. And you can do the whole ring. You can see how bright it just gets by doing that. Yeah. Very simple, very, very simple. creative. I love this. Mm -hmm. That's it's, fun. It's, I, it's, a, it's a really great project to do you know, with a teenager. Or to do oh, with and your kids, kids love it. Yeah. Kids Which love it. Which would be perfect. Great. Well, thanks so much, Mark. Oh, you're welcome. That was a great project. We'll be right back with Katie Hacker.